The U.S. wants to develop a new type of nuclear weapon, a nuclear earth penetrator or bunker buster. This nuclear bomb, intended to destroy underground targets, would be useless against many bunkers. At the same time, it would produce massive amounts of radioactive fallout and potentially kill millions of civilians. The nuclear bomb dropped by an airplane would only penetrate a few meters into the ground, too shallow to contain the nuclear blast or the large cloud of radioactive fallout. The nuclear radiation could spread more than a thousand miles. If the United States used a single weapon with a one megaton yield against the Esfahan nuclear facility in Iran, for example, the deadly radioactive fallout would spread to Pakistan, Afghanistan, and India. In this simulation, based on a model developed by the Pentagon, over 3 million people would be killed as a result of the attack, and 35 million people would be exposed to significant cancer-causing radiation. To destroy buried targets, the seismic shock wave produced by the bomb would need to reach the bunker. However, a one megaton nuclear bomb with 60 times the power of the Hiroshima weapon could only destroy bunkers within about 1,000 feet of the explosion. Very deep bunkers can be built with modern tunneling equipment, and the United States is unlikely to know the exact location of bunkers even if it knows the entry points. A nuclear weapon would also be ineffective at sterilizing underground stockpiles of chemical or biological weapons unless it detonates very close to the target. This is because the heat and radiation from a nuclear explosion do not travel far underground. If the weapon doesn't destroy the stockpile, the explosion is likely to spread active chemical or biological agents into the environment, in addition to the radiation. A more sensible way to deal with the military challenge posed by underground bunkers is to use precision conventional weapons to attack all entrances and exits to the bunker. This would keep chemical or biological stocks sealed underground and prevent enemy personnel from entering or exiting the facility.